Next up, a quick side note about the old way of making variables. Before let and const were a thing, you had to use the var keyword. So var and then the same exact format. Variable name equals some value. Now I'm showing it to you not because you should use it. There's really no situation uh, where it makes sense to use these days, but you will see it all the time if you research online, if you're looking at older code bases, even if you just Google variables in JS, the first result still uses var. So it still works. You can make a variable and do everything you need to do. It's just not ideal. And it's hard to explain exactly why right now until we talk, talk about things like functions and conditionals and blocks. So for now, just know that var is the old way of doing it. You shouldn't really be writing var uh, declarations unless for some reason you're working on an old code base where var is used everywhere. But I did want to show it to you just so that you're aware of it. It's something we can't really ignore. So we could make a variable using var. Let's do var eggs equals 12. And we have eggs and everything else works exactly the same. Eggs plus, let's do plus plus. We now have 13 eggs. We can reset it. So it's not like const, it's more like let. Let's go with eggs equals zero. We ate all the eggs or maybe a evil raccoon ate them all. And now we're down to zero. So that's it. It works just like let, but there are some significant differences once we talk about scoping. So I don't want you to think that it's exactly identical to let. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to use let over var. There are some differences uh, in how they work in certain situations. Also, I just want to talk about this briefly. Let and const are new, as I mentioned. They're relatively new, at least compared to the lifespan of JavaScript. If we go to MDN, let's look at let. Scroll down to the very bottom. You'll see a browser support or browser compatibility chart or table. And it shows you green versus yellow and red would be for no support in certain browsers. You can see that let is supported across all the major browsers. It looks like Internet Explorer doesn't fully support it, but if you click here, it's a very small edge case, or it's not an edge case. There's a specific situation where let is not as optimized, but it still works. So it's not gonna cause any problems or errors. Anyway, the point here is that let is supported everywhere you need to use it. So because of that, there's not really a good reason to use var anymore. It used to be that let and const weren't fully supported in, the, in all the main browsers and that was a good reason to at least know about var and potentially use it these days there's not really a case for var that's it var is the old way of doing things you probably will see it i don't recommend you use it